Hi guys, it's Jim, and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop, and we're going to finish taking some more parts off this engine. Now, uh, let me see if I can get you a little closer. Okay, I was having too much trouble with that three-finger puller. Um, I was afraid if I put enough pressure on this, most of them pop right off. So I went to this other style puller. And it screws right into the flywheel here. So you can put a lot more pressure on this without worrying about breaking the flywheel. That wouldn't be good. Okay, this comes off pretty hard because of the magnets inside of it. This wheel puller is just a piece of steel, a couple slots in it, threaded hole in the center, a couple of bolts. I got a bunch of extra bolts. You never know what size you need as far as length. Now this... This is your stator. This is what makes the power that charges your battery and runs headlights or whatever else you got. <clears throat> I made a mistake, I think, the other day in the video of calling this a uh, magneto. Uh, that would be for an airplane. Of course, when I get done with this, who knows, it might fly. So I want to take this off and be very careful with it so I don't hurt it. I would imagine that's a very expensive part. Alright, I've got one more screw to take out. It appears to be stuck a little. Now, when you go to put this back together, we're going to want to carefully shine all these up. See how they're kind of rusty? The shinier that is, the more power, or the better it's going to make your power. So that I think we're going to want to carefully put over here. So nothing happens to it. The same with the flywheel. When you go to put this back together, you're going to want to shine all this up. Get all the rust off it. So the magnet will work better when it goes through the coil. And speaking of the coil, you're going to want to shine these areas up, get the rust off of them. It'll just work better. Now I guess we'll flip it over and take the um, drive disc off the bottom. So I guess I don't need that anymore. I've got a uh, Allen wrench that fits into a socket. Break these loose with. Well, that came off pretty nice. Figured I'd have to pound on that. Now we got that flywheel off. We can get to these two screws and take this last guard off of here. We can take the bottom off, pull the crank, and look at the crank and the connecting rod, all the internal parts. So let me grab a socket for that and break some of them loose. Okay, we got all them out, and by the looks of them, 
they had Loctite on them and they came out pretty hard. So before I put this back together, I'll run a tap through these holes and clean them all out so the bolts go in a little better. Now we'll tap on this a little bit, break that uh, gasket loose. You don't want to hit it very hard. Well, most of the oil drained out by the looks of it. on the connecting rod look pretty good. It's a different style rod than it's on most of them. This is your uh, mechanical governor. It spins off the gear for the uh, valves and that's what slows it down. The old, the old engines used to have a wind governor on them, which never really worked too well. This was a much better way to go. So I wanted to pull the valves out and take a look at them. But I gotta run over to father-in-law's and get his uh, compressor to compress his springs so I can get the keepers out of the cap that's on the end of the springs. I don't know if this will pull out or not with the valves still in. It don't look like it wants to. So I guess that's as far as I can go until I get them spring compressor. But the inside looks pretty good. I was really concerned about the bolts in the connecting rod. I've had a lot of these things blow up because then bolts come loose. And this one don't seem to have a keeper on them either to keep them from coming loose. When I get the rod and piston out, I'll show you what it looks like. Most of the engines that have been failing, the rod comes straight down and it's like a half U and the shaft comes off of the top of the U and the cap goes on. This one, it's on a, it's almost on 90 degrees and the cap goes this way and the rod goes down. Uh, that'd be a lot less stress on the bolts. It's a much better design in this engine, probably because it's bigger horsepower. So at least we got the flywheel off. That was concerning me a little on how I was going to get that off of there, but <clears throat> I guess this is going to be a short one tonight. If you need anything, drop me a line, send me an email. I'll get back with you as soon as I can. I'm getting a lot of response on the uh, snapper drivetrain. And I've been trying to get back with them just as quick as I can. So send me a line at jimsfixitshop at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I'd like to at least hit 20. <laughs> and uh, I guess till next time, work safe, have fun, and we'll talk to you later.